Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we will see push and pop insertion in the ages of heaven, but uh, going into details of push and pop insertion. If you didn't access my playlist on the ages of heaven, you can go through it, uh, save it as a bookmark and uh, save uh, save this playlist for your future use. So now, now coming back to our topic. So push and pop instructions are basically used to perform some operations on the stack. So first we will uh, see what is a push operation. So push operation is used to push data or uh, which is used to store the data onto stack. So push op code copies the data from the source address and then it is stored, it is pushed onto the stack. Then what do you mean by stack? So we know by default stack is initialized to 0, 7. Okay, so stack is a basically a, a part of RAM in which a data is stored temporarily during the execution of the program. And to access stack, a stack pointer register is used. A stack pointer register is a 8-bit register. And by default, as you can see here, the value of SP when 8 to the 5 1 is a restart or reset. A SP is pointing to 0, 07. It means that whenever you want to push the data, that data will be stored to next location, which is a 0, 08. So stack can take any value in between 0, 0 to FFH because uh, stack is pointed by access by the SP register and SP. Is the 8 bit register so the range for SP register is from 0 to FFH. So, mnemonic for push operation is push address. There is always an address, the address could be your SFR address or a internal RAM address. So, when the push instruction is executed, it increments the SP and it copies the data from the given address to the internal RAM address which is contained in SP. So we will see the example then you will have then you will get a proper idea how this operation is performed. Let's say this is the move instruction so first we are moving 0a data into R0. So, 0 is a 8 bit data which is stored, which is loaded into R0 register, and then we are pushing the content of 00H onto stack. Then you might wonder why we are using this insertion move R0, hash 0H. If you recall the memory structure of A051. R0 can be accessed by this address when when the first register bank is selected. First register bank, there are four register banks. Register bank 0, register bank 1, 2 and 3. So R0, this R0 belongs to the first register bank which is the R register bank 0. So this is the first register and uh, this register can be accessed by this address 0, 0. So indirectly, we are pushing the content of this R0 register onto stack. So before execution of this instruction, R0 is having 00, 0 and SP is, is at a by default location 07. And this is the status of the internal RAM at the 07 memory location 56 is stored. So when uh, move instruction is executed, so now SP is pointing to this memory location. So when move instruction is executed, R0 is loaded with this 8-bit immediate data which is 0A. And when push instruction is executed, the data from this R0 which is 0A will be pushed on to next memory location. So SP is implemented by 1 and then data from this address will be pushed on 
to the stack. So now after incrementing SP is 0, 08. So 00, 0 is the address of R0 of a register bank 0 and that's why we are indirectly accessing the R0 using this address. So next instruction is the pop instruction which is used to uh, declare the data which is already stored onto the stack. So it is used to pop the data from the stack and it is always uh, used in conjunction with it is always used along with push instruction. So pop of code copies the data from the stack address to the register address. So mnemonics are pop followed by the address. So when this instruction is executed, it copies the data from the internal RAM address which is contained in SP to the given address. So obviously when you are using, when you are dealing with stack, uh, the SP will be holding the address from where you have to fetch the data. So the first data is fetched from the memory location which is given by the stack pointer SP register to the address which is given over here and then SP is decremented by 1. So let's take an example over here. Let's continue with the previous example. So we have loaded R0 with a 0A then we have pushed the content of R0 register onto stack. Now we want to pop that data into 01 memory location which is the indirect address which is the address of the R1. So before execution R0 is having 0A and SP is 08 and this is the status of the internal RAM. So as you can see in the previous example 0A is pushed onto stack and now SP is pointing to 08 memory location. So when you execute the pop instruction, the data from the memory location which is pointed by SP is copied and which will be stored into R1 register. So 01 is the address for R1 register. So for that you need to recall the memory structure of 8051 the link is given in the des description box you can check that video also so when you execute the pop instruction the data from the memory location which is pointed by SP is popped is stored into this address which is the R1 and then SP is decremented by 1 so now after execution SP is pointing to 07 So 01H is the address of R1 of register bank 0. So note to remember. So when SP reaches FF, it rolls over to 00. So SP is a 8-bit register and uh, since uh, SP is a 8-bit register, it ranges from 00 to FF. So at uh, any moment when it reaches to FF, it again comes back to 0. So RAM address. The internal RAM of H051 is from 00 to 7FH. So suppose if you want to access RAM for the beyond 7FH, it will give you an error. So even though SP can be initialized at any address uh, beyond 7FH, but uh, you cannot perform the push operation because any push operation beyond above 7 of edge would result into error. So SP is usually set at the addresses above the register banks. Why? Because you don't want to mess up with the data which is already stored in a register bank. Suppose if uh, those registers in a register banks are holding some data which is being used in your program. And uh, when you perform stack operations, 
there might be possibility that the previous data might be overwritten due to push and pop and that's why it is recommended that SP should be set to higher memory address. Direct address must be used for stack operation. We cannot use a register as an operand in a stack operation. Only addresses can be used. No register names are used in push and pop instruction. So if you really like the video, hit the bell button, comment and share this video to your friends.